Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to show you how we can have volumetric clouds in Unity. Okay. First of all, we should have this uh, plugin which is called Unity Volume Cloud. Uh, I will share the link of this uh, plugin in the description of this video. Uh, share the fallback that made this plugin. As you can see, it is truly beautiful. And however, uh, we should download the whole project uh, by clicking on here, download zip. It has been released uh, three years ago. And just need to drag and drop your assets uh, in this assets folder into your ad, uh, project assets folder. Uh, but before using this uh, plugin, you should make sure uh, that have uh, post processing in your project. You should have this plugin. You just need to come over to package manager, click on Unity registry, and click on post processing. If you don't have, you will see an install button here. Just click in, download and install this plugin. And after that, others uh, uh, setting is into the project settings in the player. Uh, the color space has to be linear. So it doesn't work in gamma. Make sure you change you change the color space to linear. After that, if you open this, uh, add that folder to your project, uh, you will see in the resource you have cloud scene, uh, sample scene, which has the main camera, and this main camera has post process layer. The main camera attached to this one. And it has this uh, cloud transform and also volume. The volume make makes these clouds, these beautiful clouds for us. And as you can see, they are truly beautiful and realistic. And now, uh, if I come over here, you can see this truly beautiful and realistic and they are not just simple particle systems or 2d images uh, they are really beautiful okay uh, let me play the scene and after that we can under, uh, understand it better and there is some options of the post-processing volume here uh, for example, in here we can change the noise 3D or even to change the texture of them, the detail, look at this tiling, shape tiling, and make nose or not. Or at this part, we can even move our clouds in any angle we want. For example, 0 0.001. will be something like this. This is truly beautiful. Look at this. Awesome. Or even we can change our angle in this angle as well. Or this one as well. Look at this. And even you can change the colors of color A, for example, it can be green or the bottom of the clouds, it can be green. <laughs> My favorite color is green. Or even you can change the offset of each color you want and make it better or even lighting for this one or even at this part you can change the height of them down sample it's gonna be down sample it's gonna be off or not it depends on your decision actually and there is a lot of options for each one uh, but at this part we have color grading here you can change disable the color grading you will see there is a different uh, colors and effects uh, of the cloud but it's 
too much lighting so you can ma uh, manage the color grading the color grading affects on the camera view as well so maybe you can change the options at this color grading or even we can uh, disable the light shapes exactly like this or change the color of it green <laughs> excellent okay this is truly beautiful uh, plugin but however I didn't test it on Android or iOS from mobile particularly but I don't think the mobile can uh, no, they render these kind of uh, assets or effects, but it is truly beautiful for PC. And here, look at this. There is a random clouds. But if we want, we can come over here and make it zero again. Excellent. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.